Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment, hit the like button right now. When you listening to my voice, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen for you, boy. Hit the subscribe button for all things sports entertainment related. Listen, man, it's your host, Seth Merritt. I'm, I'm pissed off. I'm really pissed off about this, right? The world is waiting on Spence and Crawford to be announced. We're hearing different things. I've heard the fight was done. Heard the fight wasn't done. Heard they're going to make an announcement in two weeks. There's this new rumor coming out saying uh, uh, Terrence Crawford wants 20 million. He wants 50 50. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I do care. Actually, I do care. I want that fight. But then I'm hearing, oh, you know, I've seen the WBC just elevated Keith Thurman to the number one spot for uh, for Errol Spence's uh, WBC belt. That's interesting. I'm not surprised. It happens like that. Politics. It is what it is, right? Okay, cool. Keith Thurman versus Earl Spence. Something that we already kind of thought, uh, you know, PBC would try to have them fight first before making Bud and Spence. Cool. I'm fine with it. Apparently, a lot of Earl Spence fans are not happy with it. They don't want that fight. As well as Mr. Earl Spence himself, who got on Twitter and said, when I, when I said never, I meant never. Meaning... He's not ever going to fight Keith Thurman. He said he would never fight Keith Thurman. He's not going to give Keith Thurman a shot. I'm just confused, right? As a boxing fan, the things that we have to deal with nowadays, we got to deal with champions with a lackluster uh, uh, resume. We got guys that don't even have a belt making more money than the champions. We got guys without a belt saying belts don't matter. We got promoters out here saying belts don't matter. But then in the same breath, crying about it's too many belts. So you want to take away the belts so that way the belts do matter. But then in the next breath, you say the belts don't matter, right? And this it kind of goes along with Spence and Crawford. That fight is a big fight. Two different fan bases going at it. Well, same fan base, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, two rivals. Undisputed. This is for all the marbles at 147 to see allegedly who is the best at 147 without question. All the years that have went by, the back and forth, the, the, the exchanges on social media, seeing each other in person, say, I'm going to knock you out. And, you know, when I beat him, he said he, he, said he stayed at 147 too long. And when I beat him, he's going to say you're too small, stuff like that. At, you know, Earl Spence, unfortunate accident, coming back. Beating Danny Garcia, beating Ugas, beating Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? Getting three three of the belts. Terrence Crawford beating the guys he beat. Getting the belt, or the WBO belt. One, we're one fight away from Undisputed at 147, ladies and gentlemen. In a fight that has been built up, we're ready to go. Terrence Crawford gets away from Bob Arum and ESP. Well, not ESP, from, from Bob Arum and Top Rank. He's promotionally free. He can come and cross the street and sign with the PBC to make this fight happen. But for whatever reason, negotiations, politics, money, some people saying uh, the, the money that, the, that both guys want is just not there. I'm hearing that, you know, like I said, Keith Thurman thrown in there. Maybe they want Keith Thurman versus Earl Spence first. Uh, Earl Spence already said, you know, he want, that's the only fight he wants is against Terrence Crawford at 147. If that fight doesn't happen, he's going up to 54. Now, a lot of people are saying, who's he going to fight at 54? Listen, he's not going to fight Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo is going to, I mean, Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo is going to move up to 160. And I have no problem with that. He's undisputed at 160. I mean, 154. Jamal, I mean, let me start that over. Jamal Charlo, Jamel Charlo. Damn, I'm messing up today. Okay. Jamel Charlo is undisputed at 154. Just beat Castanos in a great two fight epic series. First fight was a draw that ran it back. And he got the victory. Stop Castanos. Great fight. Classic fight. Congratulations, Mr. Jamel Charlo. He's not going to fight Earl Spence. They're, they're stable mates. So, I mean, that, that came up. Earl Spence already said, hey, I would talk to Jamel and see what he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. But me, realistically, I don't see that happen. I, seen, I see Jamel moving up to 60. I see Jamal moving up to 68. I see Earl Spence moving up to 54. And the first person that Earl Spence can fight at 154 is someone that I already knew he was probably going to fight anyway, who is the interim WBC champion, Sebastian Fundora. This man is like six. I don't know how big this dude is. Six, 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 seven. This man, if he puts some weight on, he can go up to heavyweight. Let's be honest. 
just just beat er Erickson Lubin, stopped him. Erickson Lubin said, said he wants his rematch, but it was a great fight. He got put down. I, I believe he put uh, Erickson Lubin down twice, stopped him. Great fight. So you throw Errol Spence in there with uh, Sebastian Fundor at 154, great fight. A lot of people forgetting. Errol Spence has been at 47 for a long time. He's been killing himself to make 47. This is why he says, it's going to be my last fight at 47. Listen, for all the marbles, let's make this fight. I don't want to fight nothing else. I don't want no Keith Thurman. I don't want nobody else. I, for whatever reason, Earl Spence is holding a grudge against Keith Thurman. Now, he, he, hey, I'm not saying he's wrong. I'm not saying he's right. Cool. But why doesn't Earl Spence keep that same energy with Danny Garcia and Sean Porter? Even when Danny Garcia came and tried to call out Earl Spence, you know, got in the ring after the Sean Porter fight, say, I want to fight you next. Earl Spence looked at him and commented and, and said to the crowd, my, my, how the tables have turned. Meaning, when I wanted to fight you, you guys didn't want to fight. Now everybody calling my name. I'm the big dog, and now y'all want to fight me. Keith Thurman never turned down an Earl Spence fight. Keith Thurman just got hurt. I don't know how someone can say, oh, he ducked Earl Spence. How do you duck somebody when, number one, Keith Thurman was chasing uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather? Floyd Mayweather came out of nowhere and said, hey, you fight Earl Spence, and then I'll fight you. Everybody said, oh, he should have did it. He didn't listen to Floyd. This is the same Floyd Mayweather that told Amir Khan, you beat your next opponent, I'll, I'll fight you. Amir Khan went out there and did it and still didn't fight Amir Khan. So apparently when Floyd says something in regards to how you do this, how you know, do that, it's probably not. He's probably going to do whatever he wants to do. That's number one. Number two, Keith Thurman was the man at 47. Don't forget that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget Mr. Keith Thurman was the former unified champion, the WBA super and the WBC champion. Don't forget that. So... Like I said, if Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence, if that fight does not happen for Undisputed at 147, the second biggest fight that PBC can make on their side of the street would be Earl Spence and Keith Thurman. I don't understand why Mr. Earl Spence would not want to make that fight. At this point, you could throw any type of deal at Keith Thurman. He's most likely going to take it. 70-30, I think Mr. Keith Thurman would take that. OK, I'm just saying, I don't even know how they do business on PBC. All I know is when, when PBC makes a fight, they don't talk percentages, none of that crap. They go get the job done and make that fight happen. Number one. Number two, that is a very lucrative fight for Mr. Earl Spence. I, if I'm if I'm Earl Spence, I'm like, you know what? They want me to fight Keith Thurman so bad. This is the number that I want for this fight. This fight got to be in Dallas at Jerry World. He's going to Mr. Keith Thurman is going to have to come to my 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 city, deal with my fans Come into my home and we're gonna make this thing happen. And then I'm going up to 40s, and then I'm going up to 54. But yeah, that's a lot of money. Don't act like Keith Thurman has never been in exciting fights. All of Keith Thurman's fights have been exciting. The Manny Pacquiao fight was exciting. Even the Josito Lopez fight, in which he got hurt and almost got stopped, was exciting. Okay? Danny Garcia, exciting. Sean Porter, exciting. All his fights, Colazo, when he got hurt to the body. It was all exciting. Bottom line is Keith Thurman has power in both hands. Keith Thurman could present one of, he's a very difficult fight for Mr. Earl Spence style wise. Like I said, power in both hands. He's a great mover, great ring IQ, can throw looping shots. Like I said, power in both hands, looping shots, straight shots. He's got heart as well. Now, some people say, oh, he can't take it to the body. Earl will kill him. Well, guess what? Let's just see the fight. Styles make fights. Styles make fights. Everyone that Earl Spence has fought, and I will say Earl Spence is a great fighter. I give him his respect. He is a great fighter. I love his jab. I love his body work. I love his work ethic. The, str the longer that the fight goes on, the stronger he gets, and I have nothing but respect for that man as a fighter, period. Great fighter. I want to see great matchups. I want 50-50 matchups. That's what I want in the sport of boxing. I'm tired of seeing fights where we kind of already know how this movie ends, right? Let's get these, let's get more 50-50 matchups. Let's really, let's really be like, man, I'm excited to see this fight, man. I can't wait. I don't know who's going to win, man. I don't, I don't even want to bet on this. I'm scared. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the kind of fights I'm talking about. That's, in my mind, is a fight. That's what I'm talking about. We need that. That's why, that's why Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford is so big of a fight. Because we don't know who's going to win. We don't know what's going to happen. Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, you put them on the podium in a press conference. Ooh, they're going to sell that fight. They gonna sell that fight, let alone in that fight, will live up to every expectation. It will be a classic. So Mr. Earl Spence says he does not want to fight. He's not gonna fight uh, Terrence. I mean, he's not gonna fight Keith Thurman. 
So guess what that does? You have three options. Like I said, you can fight fight uh, Terrence Crawford, in which that's a fight everybody wants. Let's get these numbers and everything going. Let's get it going. I'm ready to make this happen. Hypothetically, if that fight does not happen, you get a Keith Thurman. Well, guess what? Mr. Earl Spitz said, I'm not fighting Keith Thurman. So you might as well just go ahead and relinquish your three belts and just go up to 54 and go take on Sebastian Fundor. I just don't understand how anyone could try to justify Earl Spitz versus Fundor and say that's a bigger fight. I'd rather see that fight than a fight with Keith Thurman and Earl Spitz. We have a history. The fight will be built up. It would be even bigger once these two get in front of the podium and get in front of each other. And in my mind, it'd be very lucrative for Mr. Earl Spence. Okay? You were the clear A side. It was it was alleged, it was a lot of rumors and stuff going out that uh, uh Terrence Crawford won it 50-50. Mr. Steven Espinoza, if I if I recall correctly, came out and said he was gonna get 50-50 or something of that sort. Don't quote me on that. I'm just a hey, he might have said it, might not have said it. That's what the rumor is out there. Okay. So it is what it is. You, these are your three choices. Terrence Crawford, undisputed 147. Keith Thurman in a very lucrative fight where you can basically throw any kind of deal at him because he really has nowhere else to go. Or Sebastian Fundor, where you're still going to be the A-side, but you're going up to 54. You're going to be more comfortable taking on a bigger man. And you get an interim belt. So that way when Jam Jamil Charlotte moves up, you become the, the actual champion at 154, WBC. These are the choices. I just don't like how no one wants to or some people are trying to justify earl spence saying he does not want to fight keith thurman i have a problem with that ladies and gentlemen let me know how you guys think hit that like button comment below share do all of it as boxing fans we want the biggest fights we want 50 50 fights we want the most lucrative fights for everybody involved for us the, the spectacle of a pay-per-view um the fighters to make the most money to secure their futures and take care of their families and we want undisputed. That's the whole point for, like, what's the point of having belts if you guys aren't trying to be the actual best of your division? You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, hit the like button, comment below, share, do all of that. It's your host, F. Merritt, Pound for Pound Sports Entertainment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button for all things sports entertainment related. I'm gone.